engineering theory hello friends uh, welcome to engineering theory and uh, this topic today we will be discussing cascading of cylinders all right the topic is cascading of cylinders so what is cascading basically cascading is a uh, designing a logic circuit under the pneumatics and uh, hydraulics in which we control the movement of outputs actuators like cylinders now what is cylinder cylinders basically we all know as we are engineers or uh, so we know that uh, what is cylinder cylinder is a housing cylindrical housing having a reciprocating reciprocating element known as piston so this is the reciprocating element of a cylinder that uh, now what is cascading and cascading uh, we know uh, we have discussed but in the questions of cascading you will be asked that to design a circuit controlling the movement of two cylinders or three cylinders or cylinders like that so in this method uh, let it be the cylinder a all right and the projection is uh, touching with the a 3 by 2 valve 3 by 2 dc valve direction control valve like this this is a negative a, a negative this is a positive all right this is cylinder a now in this cylinder um now in this problem you would be asked that to control the movement of two, two cylinder three cylinders like that let there be another cylinder b all right this be another cylinder b same projections and a three by two walls connected to it my note this is b and 3 by 2 volts this is a negative this is a positive and this is b negative this is b positive now you will be asked that to uh, design a circuit in which a extends b extends and then a retracts and b retracts like this a positive b positive a negative b negative sometimes direct um, it is shown like this sometimes it is asked that a retracts b retracts like that in words so meaning is this that this uh, is the output we want to get now to begin with we need to separate this uh, output in the groups of two or three like this so we can uh, divide it into group of two like this mind out that uh, in a group the word a letter should never repeat because a cylinder can't extend and retract at the same time all right so in this a positive and a and b are not repeating if however we make a set like this or if we may like set like this a will repeat twice or b will repeat twice which is not possible so this is the required set we make so we have done the grouping which is very simple let it be another 4 by 2 volt which is operating this like this I am assuming that you are clear with the concepts of walls if you are not then please go for the other videos I have made some other videos for the beginners this is also very simple uh, simple you know, way to discuss cascading sometimes it becomes complex this is a pressure source this is basically a pressure line this is the return line this are the working lines same all there pressure line return line working lines this way so initially that the pressure is provided at this position the position shows that when these are these are the two blocks all right these are not actually existing but position so that that valve is in this direction right now 
so for the cylinder A to be in retracted position that is a negative this position is occurring here same for B like this All right that the pressure is going from here and keeping the cylinder retract completely right now there will be another 3 by 2 valve let's make it this one 3 by 2 valve which is actuated mechanically so as to start the operation we don't want to operation to be perpetual so if we press it the operation start if we stop it press it again the operation stops so this is very simple again connected uh, this line is connected to somewhere like this and these are all minded that always we use pilot operated valves all right so these are the pilot operated valves like this this is all the pilot operated valves this is a fig sign of a pilot operated valve so this is very simple that we have made the you know basic structure of the cylinders but how to cascade how to start let's see we need first of all that the cylinder should be extend then B extend then A retract and B retract so, so groups are two so if groups are two let make two pressure lines these are the pressure lines P1 and this is P2 these are not hypothetical these exist and uh, basically sometimes there is pressure in P1 sometimes there is pressure in P2 alright so depending upon the so in the position of the for this 4 by 2 valve this is called selector switch this is the main valve controlling the movement of the cylinders when the this is, uh, then um, the position changes all the uh, movement of cylinder cylinder changes right this is B this is again the pressure port, return port, working lines. Now assume that initially the pressure is in P1. Alright, the pressure port is in left direction, this one position and pressure is in P1. Alright, so P1 is a high pressure line, P2 is a low pressure line. Okay. So we have uh, pressure is operated, uh, pressure is obtained from this to this 3 by 2 valve and when the button is pressed because the center initially was A negative, when this button is pressed, this position start changing to this, changes to this. So this pilot operate uh, works and this position is acquired. Alright, so this is acquired and then cylinder because from this position pressure line starts from going from here and return line from here and cylinder extends and reaches the position A plus all right so when the position A plus has been reached that we get pressure from this to this okay when the position reached projection touches it presses it this is roller image switch mind out so it is roller image switch the position changes from this to this so initially it was closed but now when the position uh, the piston reaches here the pressures go from here to here and then this pilot operates and the position in the same way which is here B positive is attained because this position changes to this the pressure goes straight to inlet and from outlet the pressure on the air gets out and this is B plus B plus again gets pressure from the P1 and when B plus is pressed what happens it actuates the pressure like uh, the pilot operate um, pilot valve of this and this situation changes to this one okay so this changes to this one now we have 
the pressure line uh, sorry let's make it a, the different one again okay, this one that is good okay so pilot operated valve has a pressure uh, this is actually the p2 okay now p2 becomes the high pressure line p2 becomes a high pressure line so in that when b plus has been achieved p2 becomes a high pressure line then we this side of the 4 by 2 valve gets pressure from here okay gets pressure from here and this is switched on a negative has been uh, this is switched on a negative a positive was reached then the the pilot on um, the um, the air starts entering from this leaving from this and the cylinder retracts in the way in this way and now I'm not getting a different marker right now so please okay let's use it so this is connected with again with the lower line P2 when the piston reaches A negative again this is pressed the position changes from this and operates this one and when this uh, when pressure from this goes to this operates this position changes and B positive from B positive so it comes to B negative position okay and then again from B negative position pressure is obtained like this okay so from B negative position pressure is obtained from the P2 when it is pressed position changes to this and completes the cycle and actuates the position to the left side and selector switch acquires the left side position and then it uh, retracts its position and this position again comes the same cycle goes on goes on goes on and the a plus b plus a negative b negative sequence goes on like this until and until, until and unless the pressure uh, button is the push button is pressed okay this was a very simple example for cascading hope you like it and you understand it and if uh, you want me more uh, you want me to solve more cascading problems i will but this was very simple and very good to begin with and uh, yes it is very important to know cascading because it's one of the most important techniques and most you know productive techniques of solving pneumatic circuits so hopefully you like it and understand it thank you very much